L3 Harris, a leading defense technology manufacturer, is expanding its innovative Vampire counter-drone defense system to enhance naval protection against airborne threats. Originally designed as a truck-mounted platform for ground forces, the Vampire gained prominence in 2022 as one of the first weapon systems supplied to Ukraine by the Pentagon. Its simple yet durable design incorporates widely available 2.75mm Advanced Precision Kill Weapon Systems, APKWS, rockets from BAE Systems, paired with an L3 Harris Westcam MX 10D digital sensor equipped with a laser designator. The company has announced plans to adapt the Vampire for maritime use, with Jason Lambert, president of L3 Harris's Intelligence, Surveillance and Reconnaissance Division, confirming that demonstrations for naval applications are currently underway. A version of the Vampire has been deployed on ships as part of ongoing tests. These developments come amid a year marked by escalating drone and cruise missile attacks targeting U.S. warships in the Red Sea, described by Pentagon officials as the most intense naval combat involving the U.S. since World War II. While combat vessels are equipped with multi-layered air defense systems, these typically rely on expensive missiles, limiting the number that can be carried on board. For example, each Raytheon SM-2 missile used by the U.S. Navy costs approximately $2 million, while the larger SM-6 model exceeds $4 million. In contrast, the smaller and more economical APKWS rockets utilized in the Vampire system present a cost-effective alternative, striking a balance between long-range missiles and close-range defensive guns while optimizing cost per shot. L3 Harris is exploring an innovative concept that involves not only directly installing Vampire units on warships but also mounting them on uncrewed vessels to form a defensive perimeter around the main ship. By deploying multiple autonomous vessels equipped with numerous rockets, L3 Harris envisions creating an anti-drone shield that enhances protection against attacks. These autonomous units would be remotely controlled from the primary vessel, with human operators overseeing targeting and rocket guidance. Additionally, the company is investigating the potential for incorporating autonomy into the system for improved target identification. The land-based Vampire version currently in use in Ukraine employs a magazine of four APKWS rockets. However, the maritime concept anticipates a larger capacity to effectively counter saturation drone attacks, which have become increasingly common. Over the past year, U.S. warships have encountered dozens of armed drone strikes executed in saturation waves, necessitating naval air defenses and carrier-based fighters to intercept these threats. Unfortunately, civilian ships have also been affected, with some even sinking amid the turmoil. Since its deployment in Ukraine, the Vampire system has undergone several enhancements, including the addition of proximity fuses on APKWS rockets. This modification eliminates the need for direct hits to neutralize targets, significantly improving operational effectiveness. Lambert notes that feedback from Ukraine regarding the Vampire's performance has been extremely positive, underscoring its value in modern combat scenarios. The ongoing conflict in Ukraine has highlighted the crucial role of drones in contemporary warfare. Both sides have extensively deployed small drones for various purposes, including reconnaissance, artillery adjustment and anti-personnel and anti-armor strikes. Furthermore, Russia has utilized waves of armed drones and cruise missiles to target civilian areas in Ukraine, emphasizing the urgent need for effective countermeasures. As L3 Harris moves forward with the maritime adaptation of the Vampire system, it is poised to enhance naval defense capabilities against the growing threat of drone warfare, ensuring that U.S. warships remain resilient in an increasingly complex combat environment.